Today we are back on Little Wing. In this episode, we uncover areas of rot and delamination that need to be repaired, and we make various improvements around the boat. We also continue with previous repairs and sanding, but first it's time to close the last hole on the boat. Even though this was the smallest hole to repair, it's just as time consuming as a bigger repair because the process and the steps to follow are all the same, just the surface area is smaller. While Pete closed the last hole up, Cameron and I continued sanding as part of the paint prep. One of the improvements we wanted to do to Little Wing was adding a trampoline. In order to do that, we needed to add tramp mounts, which meant we needed to glass in some tubes which will hold a stainless rod that the tramp can be lashed onto. While Pete waited for the newly glassed area to go tacky, he started prepping the area where the other tube had already been glassed in, ready to put a layer of fairing over both areas. With the area feared, it was time to move on to the next job, which is an area on the main hull that Cameron had prepped and needed to be glassed as well. Mm -hmm. 
At the same time as doing this repair, Pete also finished a repair of the last hole he closed up. And at the same time as all of those jobs happening, we did any other areas requiring to be glassed or fed. This is why we have to cut it out and make a new one. As it goes with a project like this, sometimes you uncover problems along the way. So for Pete it meant he had yet another area to repair. The first step was to remove all the rot and clean up the area to be repaired. Then he needed to fit a new piece of ply to replace the rotten wood. Due to the position and shape, this required quite a bit of fitting and shaping. Once the general shape was there and the piece fitted, Pete drilled the hole for the autopilot mount and started on getting the shape right on the underside of the ply. With the new piece glued in, the usual steps of glassing and fairing followed. Another problem area, Peter? Mm hmm. A little bit of delamination. Hopefully, no rot. You'll soon find out. After Peter just dealt with the rot in the cockpit, it was a bit of a bummer to find yet another area needing repair. But you just got to carry on, and so the first step was to cut out the delamination and see what's going on. Peter? Yeah. A bit more rotten flour. Let's see how deep it goes. Once Pete had removed all the rotten ply and cut all the delaminated glass away, we left the repair area to dry out and moved on to a different job. The previous owner told us that there has always been a lot of slapping of waves against the upward mount box. So while all this glassing and sanding work was happening on the boat, it was a good time to try and streamline the shape a bit more to try and deflect any wave action a bit better. To do that, Pete shaped some foam and glued it on. Yeah. 
And of course the usual steps of glassing, fairing, sanding and priming followed. In between all the various steps in the process, Pete also finished the fairing on the cockpit and glassed and fared the repair on the underside of the cockpit once it had dried out, keeping all the repairs moving forward at the same time, which also included sanding any of the repairs in areas that had been fared to get ready to put some paint on. By the end of it, there were so many areas all around the boat ready to be sealed with some primer. Lots and lots of small little areas and also some relatively big areas. All in all, at that point, after all the repairing and sanding, we all couldn't actually wait to see the primer go on. With a project like this it's awesome when you move on from the phase of constant repairing to the stage of getting the boat ready to be primed and top coated. In our next episode, we finish the cockpit area and tramp mounts and get ready to prime the top sides, marking a huge milestone in the transformation of Little Wing. You definitely don't want to miss that episode, so make sure you are subscribed and support us by liking this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.